When is the right time for black people to protest? The NFL announced they will play the black national anthem before each game. Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray says he's committed to kneeling during the national anthem. The fan made an offensive gesture. It's a hand symbol often used by white supremacists. The woke mob never rests. And they're looking for the next pro sports team to topple down. Proof today that activism matters. After news broke out on Sunday night that the NFL's Washington Redskins have finally buckled under pressure and will change their name. A racist and offensive team name. A racial slur against Native Americans. The cancel culture mob is now taking aim at yet another pro sports team with a racist name. The The Texas Texas Rangers. Rangers. Because according to the radical left, the legendary law enforcement agency known as the Texas Rangers are a white supremacist institution, an American Gestapo with a racist past. The Washington Post says the Rangers were a cruel racist force when it came to the non-whites who inhabited the beautiful and untamed Texas territory. And the first job of the Rangers formed in 1835 after Texas declared independence from Mexico was to clear the land of Indians for white settlers. Of course, the Washington Post failed to mention that the Comanche Indian tribe was notorious for raiding entire villages, burning them to the ground, and then raping, torturing, and killing their inhabitants, and taking young boys and girls as captives. The Texas Rangers came along to stop the massacres, and they even protected other Indian tribes from the Comanche, who were terrorizing the entire region. Yeah, I mean, the the, the horrors of it all, it's like, poof. It was a savage place, that if you were captured as an adult male, you were killed, tortured to death, either quickly or slowly, depending on how much time they had. If you were a baby, you were killed. A teenage girl or a young woman would possibly be killed, but likely turned into a sort of a a slave. Very savage, very brutal. It was a culture of raiding, essentially. But the woke mob doesn't want you to know all that. They want to revise history and start a culture war to divide the nation. And that means the sports team name change hit list will likely continue, as long as there is political correctness and an angry left. After all, eventually someone's going to tell them that Vikings and pirates once owned slaves.